Damn. This man is an untrained fighter completely. She's been training for 10 years of her life just to get swung around like she ain't do nothing. Oh, she, oh no, she got hit right back. Oh, she about to get him. She about to get him. Nope, mm -mm. she's just getting slapped. Oh Lord, slap, slap. Look, look at this man, he don't know what he's doing. Oh my God. Imagine training all your life just to be running away. You all right? God damn. Run, bitch! Run! Can you imagine training 10 years of your life and getting tossed around like this by some untrained nobody? I mean, look, if I'm honest, it does look like she may have gotten this so-called black belt at the bottom of a box of cereal. But I do know that there are genuinely frightening females out there that you wouldn't want to run into in some dark alley somewhere. All you got to do is watch UFC for five minutes. You're going to find some of them. But look, he's slapping her up. He's tossing her around like some fucking rag doll. Like she supposedly has a black belt. Does she? I don't know. But if she does, this very clearly puts on display the contrast and strength between men and women. What men are actually capable of doing against women even when they're trained. So for all you fucking dumbass feminists out there who still actually need to see proof of this kind of thing, here it is. Because when you perpetuate that fucking ridiculous idea that men and women have the same relative strength, all you're doing is giving these women a false sense of security. And you can almost guarantee that the women saying this shit have never in their life played sports. You can damn sure bet they've never played sports against men or have the slightest idea of what it is to go up against the real strength of a man. It's in my opinion, we've got a lot to worry about here. It's getting, it's, I'm scared. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. The fucking caption on this one got me. <laughs> she was about to get the Mario coins knocked out of her. <laughs> Don't pull off too crazy, my dad's watching. He better not pull out tonight. Damn! If you try something and it doesn't work, smash it with a hammer. Be a man. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. Why men and women should not compete. Block with the right, distracting back fist, Number one side kick and spin crescent kick. There we go. Boom. Got him. Got him. Got you, didn't she, Rick? No, I was just doing what you told me to do. Well, that's fine. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Think you can beat this combination? I think Marge and I know different, don't we, Marge? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's do this again. Marge, ready stance. Sir. Keep your eyes on Rick and don't forget the distracting back fist. That's the key. Rick, you come with whatever you got. Full contact. No holds barred, okay? I'm going to warn you. I don't think you're going to like how this ends, hot shot. Face your partner. Sir. Kung Nae. Sparring stances. Sinjak. She's still alive. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Now, this is an objectively hilarious clip from the movie The Foot Fist Way. But we all know this is also an accurate representation of what would happen if all these feminists got the so-called true equality that, that they think they want. But for those of us who just aren't built like that, could never bring ourselves to, to strike a woman, it's just not in your DNA to do something like that. And maybe you've been in this situation one too many times. How many times have you wanted to hit me, but restrain yourself? <laughs> <laughs> For those of us like that, I mean, let's be honest, watching something like this is fucking therapeutic. <laughs> Non-psychopathic males who are fairly aggressive keep the psychopaths under control. And so part of the reason that women like men who have some capacity for aggression, but who are still productive and reciprocal is that men who are productive and reciprocal, who have some capacity for aggression, can keep the real monsters at bay. How fucking high up is he? I mean, you slip like that, you're not even phased, not even a little bit. I, there's gotta be at least a little something wrong with this guy. But then again, we're all fucked up. 
at least we can say the good psychopaths are still winning. You stick your toe in it and they suck it. <laughs> I'm trying to get to see what that be like right there. Look, be that, 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 that. What's your biggest ick? When a boy gets hit by like a slow moving car. A slow moving car. So when the car hit you, it left you paralyzed from the waist down. I'm so sorry. But was the car slow moving? What does that matter? I'm trying to get hosed, Doc. What? What are you talking about? I'm trying to get hosed. Okay, I'm very confused by what's going on here. My God. Captain, the lifeboats are ready to go. Should we load the women and children first? No, men and children first. Excuse me, sir. It's 2022, Private. A woman can handle a sinking ship just as well as a man can. And if you don't think so, you're a misogynistic asshole stuck in 2008. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, for the time being, I am requiring men and children only. Are you kidding me? It's 2022. This is what you wanted. Equal rights for all. Yay. You wanted to be treated equal to men? Well, this is how men are treated. No, we don't. We just say that half the time. We don't actually believe in it. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, we do. Come on. We're just as capable as men are. Shut right? up. I identify as a man. 2022. Check. Do you think I could go up on the door? It's 2022, Rose. I wouldn't want to imply that you can't handle the ice cold water the same way a man could. I'm proud of you. You know that. I hope you do. I think I'm dying, Jack. Oh, 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 oh. I love 2022. And he lives happily ever after. To the end of his days. Yeah, we all know this is where the whole equality thing breaks down. There ain't no feminism on a sinking ship. Modern feminism is give me the benefits without the responsibility or accountability. 65% of women ended up resenting their partner for not making enough money so that they could stay home with their kids. Oh, it's so true. Forbes ran an article that said 84% of women want to stay home and that 65% are that miserable and resentful. Yes, women want to stay home, it turns out. Women want to stay home. Hey, I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. This just proves how brainwashed a lot of modern women are these days. I mean, it's telling us that the majority of women who go out there saying that they want to be independent, actually deep down, they really want a man to take that responsibility off of them. But they are never going to admit that because they've been told that women in 2024 must present as strong and independent. And that's all well and good. Just as long as you know that in 2035, the majority of those women are going to be presenting as single, alone, and unhappy. So it's kind of funny, I guess, but also sad watching feminists realize that what they thought they wanted isn't what they actually want. Um, the thing is, like, if if you're paving the way for something that no woman has done before you, like, maybe there's a reason why. Hey, yeah, you might have just made a fact just now. That's some real shit. The movement of feminism is the ultimate example of not choosing your enemies wisely. You chose men as being the enemy. 40 years later, 50 years later, you're 65 years old, single, not married, no kids. You're living in an apartment or a condo with a dog or a cat, that that's all you ever talk about, and you're lonely, and you're sitting there saying, I was wrong. Men are not the enemy, but guess what? That movement stole 50 years of your life, and how painful that is. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Uh, I just want to take a really quick second to say thank you because earlier this week we crossed into 20,000 subs. Uh, I mean, I couldn't have done it without y'all, obviously. Like, I really appreciate all the support and engagement you guys are constantly giving. It's fucking amazing. Um, as usual, I'll keep making them if you keep watching them. You know, and I'll, and I'll do my best to hold up the standard for y'all. In the meantime, the next milestone is 50,000, so we might as well get a head start. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. I appreciate you. Uh, let's get back into this video and finish things up. I can't lie, there's nothing more beautiful than a sunset. Except like a really nice pair of hell yes. He ain't lying. I use these three life hacks to save money each month. I stay the fuck home, I lie the fuck down, and I try not to move. Fuck as you talk. I don't blame you. When men go silent, what are they really thinking about? <laughs> What did I just see? You realize we're all fucked up. Stop judging yourself against other fucked up people who have hidden it better than you. 
So all they've done, they've masked their shit better than you have, and now they're flipping it back on you and saying you're fucked up. I want you to realize that this world, life, is one big head game. And once you learn to play the motherfucking head game, it's no longer a game anymore at all. You can start living your life.